Whoa! Whoa! Hey! What's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Abomination Build a Figure Waves Leader. Trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Megalopolis City, City of Collectibles, Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out. Link in the description below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and give this video a like and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my reviews. And a big thank you to Xman87 for making this review possible and finding these out in the wild and letting me buy them off him. I really appreciate this, this brother. Thank you so much. Check them out. Link in the description below. And you can see the packaging over here. It just says Marvel Legends Leader. On the side, you can see Leader right there looking ever so sinister. And then on the back, you can see a sinister Leader again. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other characters from the wave. Then there's Leader again. And then you get a spot varnished Marvel logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here is Leader out of the packaging. And this is a figure that I was really hoping for and I am very happy to have and I think it looks just great already. Now there's no accessories that come with this figure at all whatsoever except for the Build-A-Figure piece. So let's just get a little into the bio of Leader and we'll take a closer look at the figure. Now to briefly go over the bio of Samuel Stearns, aka the Leader. Uh, before he became the Leader, he wasn't too smart. Uh, he wasn't too bright at all. He was a high school dropout working at a chemical research plant and during an accident he was covered in gamma irradiated chemicals and that's what turned him into the leader where he has a super super genius mind now where you could obviously see the size of his cranium and his brain grew uh, and he started a whole spy ring that took down the federal government and he created his plastic humanoids which he's used to fight the Hulk and he's super smart in every single way and he also has psionic powers now this design choice right here I think is the more classic classic leader. Uh, the face-off two-pack version that I have right here is the testacular leader right there with the testicle head. You know, you can see that right there. I always thought this was real funny. So this is the one I wanted out of the two face-off versions. But you can see that Toy Biz also gave us a more classic leader head sculpt right over here. But this one, I gotta say, I like the most. I absolutely love this, man. I mean, look at that facial hair. It just looks very clean. I like the sculpt of these veins right over here. A little bit of black missing the hairline. But I just noticed that right now, only taking a very close look at the figure. It doesn't look too bad. I guess maybe I could touch that up, but I'm not really upset about it. Just a little flaw I noticed. I like how the hair is combed all the way back like that. Looks pretty good. So yeah, man, I really like this design choice. I think it looks fantastic. Now, one thing about the whole harness thing that we have here on the Pizza Spidey mold uh, slash Doctor Strange torso uh, is that, you know, this color choice I think is supposed to be gray, but I could be totally wrong about that. And then there's other designs where this is just a little bit different over here. So I feel like this particular uh, strap system that they have on him is kind of a combination of two different designs. I'm used to seeing him just with the black and orange, and I love this color scheme by the way i haven't tried taking this off or anything I, I don't really want to but it looks like he easily can just by you know moving this downward i guess and away from the shoulders oh you may rip it and i don't want to rip my new figure and i like having him with this on here so i'm sure there's a way you could figure it out but i don't want to risk breaking it or anything or ripping this apart but i think it looks pretty good i only have two super minor paint flaws that irritate me a little you can see a little yellow streak right there and then there's a little orange dot right there but that's that's about it. Otherwise, I do like the paint apps on this figure. Not a whole lot to write home about. Not a whole lot new going on right here. You got a leader butt. You can see you get an open hand so you could hold accessories. And then this hand, he has the fingers out so you could have him thinking and stuff. And I recommend you check out x Manny 87s video on this guy because he showed this figure off with a ton of accessories that looked really good. So yeah, I totally recommend that. Uh, nice belt right over here. I like that. And then the legs, you know, we've seen these before. And he's got yellow boots right over here or, you know... I guess socks anyway. It would have been nice if they gave him actual boots or something, but still looks pretty good. And he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now the articulation on the Toy Biz Leader figures was really weak, especially compared to this one right here. So I'm happy that we get a lot of added articulation. For instance, he can look all the way up. So if you want him going into flying poses, uh, you can do that. I don't know if he ever wears a jetpack or anything. Seems like something he could do. But anyway, you get the head movement going all the way down. He does shift forward and back like a power driver. You get side to side motion and head pivoting right there. Shoulders move outward that much they move down you could rotate a full 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows both hands turn side to side hinge up and down ab crunch forward ab crunch back waist swivel hips move outward that far he kicks forward that much back a tiny bit upper 
thigh cut, double jointed knees, and no heel to butt, unfortunately. Ankles move down, they move up, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. I know a lot of you guys liked the animated articulation segments, but it just kicks the crap out of my computer just way too hard, man. I'm sorry. The computer just cannot handle it. Now to measure out this leader figure, you can see that he is standing just a little under the 7 inch mark. And then for a size comparison, we have our Hasbro leader next to the Toy Biz face-off testacular cranium leader right there. I'm surprised to see them standing at the same height. That's kind of a trip. And out of the two suit designs, I'm curious to know which one you guys prefer more. I don't know. I like this suit design a little bit more. However, this still looks cool to me. I don't know. They're, they're both pretty neat. The black and orange just goes really good with that green skin. I like that. And then here's leader next to our Wolverine 2-pack Hulk figure. And oh my goodness. Yeah, this is so cool seeing these two side by side. It's just crazy how Hasbro is taking over more and more and more of my collection. Then here's leader compared to one of his allies. We have the SDCC exclusive abomination figure. And by the way, the abomination build the figure from this wave will be up tomorrow. So stay tuned. And then here's leader next to all of the other figures from this wave. We have our gamer verse cap, our gamer verse, Iron Man, gamer verse, Ms. Marvel, Mach one, Captain Marvel or Marvel and rage. And then here's leader next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel legends, big time, badass Spider-Man. Hey, if you're so smart, how come you don't have a hat to cover up that ugly head of yours? Hey, what's with my head? Ow! 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 Wait, stop! Ow! 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 Hey! Stop! 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 So thanks so much for watching my video, you guys. And if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And a big thank you to all these people over here that make it possible for me to continue to post these YouTube videos. If you have an interest in supporting, check it out. Link in the description below. I actually just dropped about 60 bucks on action figures I don't really want. Yes, I have a very special evolution project coming to this YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, this figure right here, I have gotten him into a semi-dynamic pose. Not very much of a dynamic pose, but it's probably a dynamic pose for leader, right? I mean, seriously, while this figure does have one of the most poseable body molds out there, you don't need all that articulation for the leader, but I am happy to have it. And I think this is a great design choice for a new leader figure. So I'm really happy with that, man. Can't really complain about the figure too much. I'm stoked to have it. And at the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm giving it a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please don't forget to let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on my social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! And, uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.